We'd start with two of the earliest, which would be uh, Jimmy Rogers. I walked up to a brakeman. Uh, T for Texas, T for Tennessee, you know, one of uh, his songs. He was one of the, the pioneers. He's called the father of country music. So I think that, but he had that bluesy, uh, swaggering kind of honky-tonk feel to it, you know, with a little bit of jazz to it, a little bit of blues, you know. Got a hang on the hair, had a piece of bone, and then walked and talked and cold. The Carter family. Get up, rounder, let a working man lay down. Because they brought in that mountain influence from... Appalachia, you know, and the old folk music. So it was kind of carrying on an old tradition that came all the way from, you know, S Scotland and Europe and all these folk songs and, and gospel. And they sort of brought that really family, sort of severe, you know, very uh, conservative kind of sound to it and harmonies. And of course, Mother Maybell's guitar. Like I mentioned, uh, she had this guitar way of making the guitar and then the lead instrument in it, and that became very important to country music. I can see my baby. Certainly you'd have to have a Hank Williams song, so I think uh, something like Honky Tonk Blues. Get the Honky Tonk Blues. That was sort of the idea of, of great Honky Tonk music, which is about the nighttime and the nightlife and temptations, and all the sort of things that came in after World War II when America was, you know, flush with money and growth and highways were growing and People were moving from you know, the farms to the cities and stuff. And I think Hank Williams represented the tensions and all the things that kind of came along with that. I think you'd have to have a, a Bakersfield song like uh, from Merle Haggard, you know, like Mama Tried or uh, Working Man Blues. Today I started loving you again. Which, um, Brings in that California song, that sound. It's, it's different than Nashville. It, uh, you know, electric guitars started in Southern California, so the Fender guitar, and all of a sudden, you know, guitars are amplification comes in, and people are playing a little bit louder. Merle Haggard has said it's his music came out of the bar rooms, where Nashville music came more out of the churches and the mountains. I think uh, maybe like the, you know, another one would be Loretta Lynn. He shovel coal to make. A poor man's dollar. A song like Coal Miner's Daughter or, uh, you know, You're Not Woman Enough to Take My Man. She was one of the first female songwriters who really wrote completely about her life and her, about her life of, you know, being home and being raising kids and but having a husband who wasn't always faithful and stuff. She was saying about, you know, women going on the pill. She sort of reflected uh, women's point of view in a very powerful way because it was so personal. So I think if, if you heard, you know, those five people, you know, you'd have a really good idea of what country music was.